Hey, Mila, what are the other moms doing about their kids for our upcoming mom's trip? I'm planning to have my husband watch them. Oh, really? I thought we were bringing them along. We agreed that this trip would be for moms only to relax and have fun. Don't tell me you're planning on bringing your daughter. Of course I do. It's a special trip and I wanted my daughter to have some fun too. You think they would bother you? That's not the point. We specifically said no kids on this trip. If you're bringing your daughters, then can you cancel this? We can still cancel in time. No way. Then you'll need to find someone to watch them. Ugh, fine. I'll ask my husband first. Please do. The day before the trip. Hey, Charlie, just to confirm, have you found someone to watch your daughters? I haven't heard from you since our last conversation and I'm starting to worry. And don't worry about my daughters. Everything is fine. That's a relief. Is your husband watching them? My husband had a business trip, so I asked my parents-in-law instead. Oh, that's good. I can trust your parents-in-law. By the way, what time do we meet tomorrow? Is it still 8 a.m.? Yes, that's right. I have an urgent errand to run in the morning, so would it be okay if I showed up a little later? Okay, just be careful. Thanks. I'm really looking forward to this trip. I need to get my daughters to bed early so we can get a good start tomorrow. Wait, your daughters are still at home? Yes, I'm planning to take them to my in-law's house tomorrow morning. That's my urgent errand. Oh, I thought your in-laws lived pretty far away. Well, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. The day of the trip. I finally made it to the inn. Sorry for being late. Is everyone already inside? It's good that you made it. We're all in our rooms for now. We're planning to go sightseeing later. Great, I'll join you soon. Okay, just let the front desk know my name and they should let you in. Got it! But there's something I need to apologize for. What is it? I left my wallet at home. What? So I need you to cover my travel expenses for now. Charlie, you forgot your wallet at our last lunch meeting too. Are you doing this on purpose? No, I'm not. I'm just a little scatterbrained, that's all. I guess I'm like a natural hot spring, always bubbling up with surprises. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, and there's one more thing I need to apologize for. Yes? My husband had a business trip, so I brought my daughters with me. You have to split the childcare costs among y'all, too. This is a child-free inn. What? I never heard that. I told you, right? This trip is for moms only to relax and have fun. That's too indirect for me to understand. I've sent you the URL of the inn, and you could have easily find it saying child-free. Didn't you check it? Who do you think check it? So, can't I stay here then? It seems like, yeah. You'll have to cancel your reservation and go home. No way! I came all this way on the train for three hours. And why couldn't you leave your daughters with your parents-in-law like you originally planned? I had some circumstances that made it impossible to ask them. So you told a lie? Stop it! That doesn't matter right now. I'm staying here no matter what. What are you talking about? You can't stay. I'm not giving up. I'm going to try to convince the inn staff to let me stay. Convince them? Don't cause any trouble, Charlie. 20 minutes later. They still won't let me bring my daughters in. They even threatened to call the police if I didn't stop bothering them. That's what you get for causing a scene. I could hear you yelling even though I was in my room. Please don't act so childish. But I wanted to enjoy this trip too. It's not fair that everyone else gets to go on this trip and I don't. If you want to go on a trip so badly, why don't you find another place to stay? There are plenty of accommodations around here and some of them might still have vacancies. But I don't have any money to stay anywhere else. You didn't really bring any money with you? Of course not. Then how did you make it to come here? Did you cheat the fare of the train? No way. I've only grabbed the fare to go and left the rest. Why didn't you? Well, because you all are here. Okay, so you plan to have us pay for you from the beginning. Uh, shut up. What's wrong with that? Wow, you really are unbelievable. I have as many as three kids unlike you all, so it's not easy for me to take vacations. And it's even more expensive with three kids. That doesn't mean you should make us pay for everything. If you didn't have any money, you shouldn't have come on the trip in the first place. No way! You guys would also be lonely without me, right? Not really. And frankly, it's pretty annoying that you showed up without any money. Annoying? You can't call that friendship. Anyway, we're going to stay somewhere else, so you should pay for our accommodation. And you guys should also pay the cancellation fee. 
don't be ridiculous. I'm not paying for your accommodation, and I'll make you pay me back for the cancellation fee later. Why won't you listen to me? My daughters are starting to get hungry and cranky. Please come here with the money now. I'm not going anywhere, and I think you should stop squatting in front of the inn. The staff is getting annoyed too. I know. I just want to find a new place to stay as soon as possible, so I'm asking you for help. If you don't come with me, I'm going to start screaming. Stop it. People will think we're crazy. Oh, you think I'm crazy? If you don't want to make a big scene, then come here right now. Ugh, fine. Just wait there for a minute. Fifteen minutes later. Sorry for the wait. What took you so long? What were you doing? Hurry up and come here. Calm down. I have good news. Good news? Yeah, you can get a pickup soon. Pickup? Who's coming to pick me up? Your husband. My husband? Why is my husband coming? Because we called him. Didn't you tell him you were going on this trip? But my husband is on a business trip. Apparently, his business trip is nearby. Didn't you hear from him? I don't care about my husband's work, so I didn't ask. But how did you know his contact? Do you remember that we have Erica? She works at the same company as your husband, and they are so close to go drinking after work. So I asked her to tell him. Why did you do that? I didn't even tell him about this trip. Seems like so. He was surprised too when he knew you were here. It seems like you told him a lie that you are at your parents. Yes. To be honest, last month he found out that I have a debt, and so he scolded me not to take a trip or to eat out. And he also took away my credit card and cash card. I see. That's why you tried so hard to override our trip and make us pay your fees and fares. You're such a miser. I'm not a miser, but a smart housewife who knows how to save. How dare you say that? Everyone's disgusted. This is all your fault. No, it's not our fault. It's all your fault. Oh no! I just got a what's up from my husband. He's so angry. That's to be expected. You broke your promise to him and caused trouble for others. My husband says he's coming here in less than thirty minutes. That's great. Your husband is so kind to come all this way, even though he's working. You should come with us too. Why? To help me persuade my husband. Tell him it was your fault and that you're the ones who are wrong. No way. I'm not going to lie. The problem is solved, so I'm going to leave now. I don't want to see you now because you're a bad luck for us. I'll stay in my room even if my husband comes to pick me up. Wait, nothing's solved for me. Come back here. Hey. A few days later, Mila, you ruined my trip. Don't call me a villain. What happened after your husband came to pick you up? By the way, he booked another hotel room because it was too bad for our daughters to go back right away. Sounds nice. Not at all. He told me to start a part-time job to. Pay back all the money I owe you all within three months, including the money I borrowed from him before the trip. That's three thousand bucks in three months. That's not so bad. You can do it if you work hard for as long as three months. But I've never worked a day in my life. How am I supposed to make that much money? I don't want to work. Maybe you should work to learn the value of money. That way you won't waste money anymore. Hey,、uh, don't say the same thing as my husband did yesterday. Well, your husband told you the same. I have an idea. You pay me three thousand bucks. Sorry? Yeah, like it was your fault that I was bothered during this trip. So pay me as its compensation. I'm the one who want to ask for the compensation. Why? Well, I'm not that bold to ask for it, but you have to pay the cancellation fee of the hotel anyway. I don't want to, of course. Just look over at as little as a few hundred bucks. No, it's way more than a few hundred bucks for you. What do you mean? Charlie, you borrowed from many mom friends and have never returned any, correct? Maybe, yeah, but you don't care because you all are richer than me. We do care. It is common sense to return what you borrowed, and you better be responsible about money as a grown-up. Ugh! Don't preach me. You are not my mom. I don't want to either. I have enough of my own sons to deal with. Don't compare me to your sons. I'm not just comparing you. I'm saying you're even worse than them. That's so rude. You say I'm inferior to elementary school kids? You clearly have less common sense than elementary school kids, or even less than five-year-old children. Ah, too rude. I'm not talking to you anymore. That's fine with me. I wanted to cut ties with you anyway because you're always causing trouble. Then I'll spread rumors about you and make it impossible for you to stay in this town. Go ahead and try. No one will believe you. What? Everyone knows that you brought your daughters on a trip without any money. 
and that you've been borrowing money from other moms without paying them back. They all hate you, so you won't have any friends left. <gasps> That's not true. Everyone has always been nice to me, and I'm sure they'll still be my friends. Where do you get that confidence? I think they were just putting up with you because they know better. In fact, when I told everyone that I was going to cut ties with you, they all said they would do the same. What? That's horrible. We were friends until now, and now you're suddenly cutting me off? That's not fair. It's your own fault. I'll still say hello to you if I see you on the street, but that's it. I'm not going to be your friend anymore. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. You're going to have to start working soon, huh? Well, yeah. So we won't see each other as much anyway. That's a good thing. You don't have to be so mean about it. I'm already feeling bad enough. I know you're going to have a hard time for a while, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. Well, I'm off. Goodbye. Wait! Do you really mean you're not going to be my friend anymore? I'm so sorry for everything. I don't want to be alone. After that, Charlie, who was now all alone, tried to act all sweet to us, but no one fell for it. She was also hounded by the moms she had borrowed money from, and her debt kept growing. Apparently, her husband made her get a part-time job to make her realize the value of money. We, for our part, just want to distance ourselves from her, so we hope she stays at that job for a long time. We can only pray that this experience will make her a more responsible adult. Hey, Malika. Want to check out this new super fancy French place that just opened up in the next town? No way. Why not? I'm offering to treat you to some expensive meat. Why are you trying to turn me down? Because you always ditch the bill. Not just once or twice. This place is expensive, so it's no joke if you do it again. Yeah, I know I did that. But let bygones be bygones. You didn't pay for a lot of stuff last year either, right? Let's just say this is to make up for it. I don't believe that apology. Don't worry about it this time. Let's go together. I don't want to end up getting screwed over at an expensive place again. I said I won't again. You're being stubborn. Read the room. I'm saying let's go. You've done this before. I can't believe you that easily. Ah, uh, shut up, old lady. I said let's go. Don't get mad. Fine, I'll go. Good. You want to eat expensive meat too, right? Well, I do want to try it. And yeah, invite a few other moms too. It's more fun with a bigger group. Sure, but are you sure about inviting that many people? Don't worry, let's have a blast. I checked the place out online. It's like tens of thousands of dollars per person. It's a full course and it'll add up with everyone. Well, the meat at a place like that is guaranteed to be good. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, it'll be delicious. So can you contact the other moms? I'll make a reservation. Got it. Oh, and just invite the moms, okay? Sure, but why? I don't know if I can afford to treat anyone else. Don't invite the husbands, no matter what. Whatever. Okay, see you later. On the day of the dinner. Hey, Yulia, where are you? We're about to pay, so come back. You're treating us, right? Sorry, Malika, I can't come back. I was going to treat you, but my daughter collapsed and had to be rushed to the hospital. I'm on my way there. Can you take care of the bill? Your daughter and husband are here. <gasps> you mean Hannah and Henry? Yeah, come check it out. What's going on? Why are they there? I invited them. What? You invited them? Yeah, you were acting weird when you invited me, so I asked your husband about it after you left this morning. I told him you were treating us, and he said I don't think we can afford it. Why you do that? You kept saying not to invite the husband, so I thought you were up to something ill. I wanted to be careful. You shouldn't have done that. Your husband said he'll pay for everything. Too bad you couldn't handle the bill yourself. Yeah, my husband pay? What are you doing? I don't know what he'll say later. Your husband says I'm disappointed in you, Yulia. The stupid old woman, why didn't you just pay as usual? I've been paying for you every time. This time was the worst because it was so expensive. If you ran away like usual, we would have been in trouble, so I had to do something. I thought I was getting free expensive meal. I won't forgive you for bringing my family here. Running away without paying is the real problem. But I don't have money, that's why. You don't have money, but you came to an expensive place? I wanted to try an expensive place. But I didn't have money, so I thought I could get you to pay as usual. What are you doing? You're going to lose your husband if you keep this up. It wouldn't have happened if you hadn't said anything. What if I get divorced? I think it's better for your husband and daughter. It's pitiful for your daughter to be with a terrible mother like you. Shut up, you old hag. 
you're always cursing. If you talk to him like that all the time, he might divorce you because of this. I'm not gonna get divorced. Don't scare me like that. I'm not trying to scare you. If I were your husband, I'd definitely divorce you. He is really angry and your daughter hates you for dine and dash. Dine and dash? I didn't dash. You go to a restaurant and have us pay for you every time. That's dine and dash. I haven't been arrested, have I? Stop making stuff up. That's because we paid for you. You always say, I'll pay later, but you never do. I'll pay someday. Who's going to believe you when you, who said free expensive meal, say someday? I'll pay, I promise. Convince my husband. What? Convince him? Let's say this was your misunderstanding. You were supposed to treat us, that's what we'll say. Do you think your husband will believe that lie now? Just say it, or I might get divorced. It'll be your fault if I do. Why is the blame on me? You're the one causing the divorce. Stop blaming others, it's embarrassing. You and the moms could have just paid. That's why I told you to invite the other moms. Yeah, we figured you'd do that as usual. Then why didn't you pay? Why did you contact my husband? This is the worst. I have bad news too. Someone else is watching this conversation too. Guess who? What are you talking about? The hint is, it's the last person you want to see this conversation. Wait, don't tell me it's my husband? Correct. He has a message for you. Don't think you can get away with this. Why you do that? Henry, this is different. We're just joking around. Malika and I are really close, right, Malika? No way. We're not that close. You're always threatening and complaining to me. Malika! Your daughter is watching too. <gasps> OMG! My phone is ringing a lot. Your husband is calling. He said I'm coming over to yell at you. Wait, it's a misunderstanding. Calm down. If it's a misunderstanding, explain it to him over the phone. You must have a good reason. Malika, please convince him. We're friends, right? Forgive this little joke. I don't remember being friends with someone who calls me an old hag. I don't really think that. You're like an older sister to me. I really respect you. You're trying really hard to suck up to me. I'm not sucking up. I'm just saying what I think. You call an old hag to someone you respect? It's our way of communicating. I really respect you deep down. That's why I depend on you. I say mean things because I'm comfortable with you. I can't be honest with you if I don't, bestie. I don't want to be called bestie by you. I think of you as less than an acquaintance. What do you mean by that? I only deal with you because we're moms. I don't even consider you an acquaintance. Why would you say something so mean? I said I respect you. How dare you can easily lie like that. I've been fooled by you so many times, I won't fall for it now. It's true, believe me. You should talk to someone else. Your husband is calling. No. I can't talk to him, you have to explain. Huh? I already told him everything. About you ditching the bill and everything that happened today. It's not right, I didn't ditch anything. You were treating us, right? No, we didn't make that kind of agreement. I showed your husband the conversation we had and he won't believe your lies now. Why are you doing this? I didn't do anything wrong. Trying to make us pay for your meal is wrong. Okay, okay, I apologize, so convince my husband. It's already too much for me, so please, I beg, please convince him. I've already told you everything, nothing is left. This problem is only up to you and your husband. It's none of my business anymore. He won't listen to me, so I need you to explain this, Ed. Please, I'll do anything. You sure you act like that? What? As I've just said, your husband sees all this conversation. He will be disappointed with you if you show yourself like a beggar. What? Is he still there? He said, I'm coming back home, so you come too. And also, he said, I'll chase you as far as your parents' home, even if you run away. My life is over. What can I do? What can I do now? Oh, and there's another bad news. He's saying that he is going to bill you for everything. He paid over 2,000 bucks, so you'll have to pay him back. No, please make it all go away. Well, good luck with that. Later. After that, Yulia was called out by her husband and scolded for her behavior. Her husband was so shocked by Yulia's unreasonable actions that he decided to divorce her. He was busy with work and didn't know the rumors about her ditching bills. This incident brought it all to light, and he was overwhelmed. He also worried about the negative influence on their daughter, so he decided to take custody of her. Yulia was left alone. Her daughter also heard about her mother ditching bills and said she didn't want to see her. So her father decided to cut off all contact with her. Her husband demanded that she pay back the money he spent and she was kicked out of the house. Now only her husband and daughter live there. Hey April, guess what? 
I've got some amazing news. What is it? You sound so excited. I heard you're going on a trip to LA with some other moms. Yeah, that's great. But why are you so happy about that? Well, my family lives in LA. Okay, and? Don't you get it? No, I don't. You're so dense sometimes. I think it's more normal not to understand only with those. And also, I heard you're renting a car. You're so observant. And of course, you're going to Malibu, right? Yeah, we are. This time, we're going with four other moms. We'll take turns driving to Disneyland and Long Beach. On the way back, we'll stop by Santa Monica for a bit, then do some shopping in LA before flying back to Phoenix. Wow, you're really active. Yeah, we all love driving and renting a car is more convenient and saves money. Right, right. It's all about saving money. Yeah. Me too. I'm trying to save money. Oh? Can you give me a ride to Malibu? Sorry? My mom isn't feeling well. Sorry to hear that. What about your dad? My dad's really stubborn, and even though they've been married for almost 40 years, my mom hesitates to ask him for anything. Oh, that's tough. Even after being together for so long, those kinds of things can be difficult. Yeah, so I thought I'd go see her myself. Oh, that makes sense. It might be easier for two women to talk. Exactly. Okay, well, it is true that flights from Phoenix to LA can be pretty expensive. I'm so glad you understand. If it works with our schedule, sure. What? And we will split the cost of the return flight, plus the rental car and gas among these five people. No way! What? I have my own plans. And you already planned this trip as a group of four, so why should I have to pay? Besides, I can't drive, so I won't even enjoy the road trip. What? You want us to change our plans for you and you want a free ride? That's right. You know, I got married young and I'm poor. I don't know anything about that. So please, you can afford to help me out because you all make so much money. That's not going to happen. Our plans are already set and we can't change them. And since we're going together, you have to pay your share. It's not fair. Is that so? Of course. If you can't do that, then you should figure out some other plans. You're so mean. But I know you're a kind person deep down, so I'll send you my schedule soon. Thanks in advance. A few weeks later. Good morning. Morning. It's such a beautiful day, perfect for a road trip. Yeah, it is. Did you read the schedule I sent you? I should be arriving at your place soon. Thanks so much for covering my expenses. We're already in LA. Wait, what? We left early yesterday morning and arrived in LA around 6 p.m. last night. We took a few detours, so it took a little longer. You left yesterday? Yeah. Didn't you see the schedule I sent you? Why did you ignore it? I told you our plans were set and couldn't be changed. Why should we have to follow your schedule? That's your fault for not saying no clearly last time. Go back and read our last conversation. I clearly said that we couldn't change our plans and that you couldn't arrive for free. I told you to figure something else out. Don't make excuses. Honestly, it's outrageous that you would just decide to join our trip without being invited and then expect us to change our plans and pay for you. It's normal for friends to do that. They're saying good fences make good neighbors and we're not even that close. How can you say that? Because it's the truth. Have you ever talked to Bethany? Have you had tea with Celine? Do you know Felita on Facebook? No. See? It's weird that you would so casually try to join a trip with moms who are not even that close with and then demand that we change our plans. We only exchanged contact information because our children were on the same school committee. But that's still unfair. I said at the beginning that if it worked with our schedule, sure but you're trying to force your schedule and financial burden on us. If you want to negotiate with others, you need to do it better. You guys are just cheap. The other moms are totally fine with it. Oh, I heard from a few other moms that you've been trying the same thing with them. What do you mean trying the same thing? Exactly what it sounds like. Las Vegas, Santa Monica, Hollywood, San Francisco, and where else? What? I heard from quite a few people about the places you tried to tag along with other moms. Those gossiping women. Well, they're not exactly under any obligation to keep it a secret, are they? And why are all of you high school moms so connected anyway? Our kids have been friends since middle school, so we've known each other for a long time. What? Our kids go to a combined middle and high school, right? But your son entered from high school. And we moms saw each other a lot at PTA events, and some of our kids were in the same clubs. Oh well, your kid isn't in any clubs. I can't afford to put my kid in expensive clubs. Even though he comes to a private high school? 
There are scholarships, and I get child support from my ex-husband. Wow, you have a good ex-husband. Of course, I'll make him pay child support for the rest of his life. Okay, okay, but you're still poor, right, Susan? Why do you bring that up? Because you always say you are. What's wrong with being poor? You travel a lot, even though you're poor. What? Travel? Las Vegas, Santa Monica, San Francisco, and now L.A. Those are all places you've been. What? I told you I'm going to see my sick mom. How many parents do you have? What? You told all the other moms that your parent was sick, and that's why you wanted to come with them. Well, yeah. That's strange. Or maybe they moved. People don't move that many times in a short period. Well, ah.、Uh, and my kid heard from your son that you haven't been able to visit. Your grandparents in Texas this year. Oh, that reminded me. When I said I was going to Texas, you told me to try the huge barbecue chicken there. Did I say that? Yes. So I realized that you're using these trips to see your sick parents as an excuse to go on vacations. So what if I do? You're on vacation too. It's fine to go on vacation, but it depends on the reason. What do you mean? We're on a mom's trip. We're clearly here to have fun with our friends, and the other moms are too. But what about you? What do you do after you leave the other moms? I'm on vacation, aren't I? It's fine if you want to go on a vacation, but you have to choose your partner carefully. What? Your boyfriend is Bethany's husband. What? Your boyfriend is Bethany's husband. No way! Didn't you know? How would I know? She's been suspicious for a while. Of what? Her husband often goes on business trips. He always tells her where he's going, but lately he's been going to new places like Las Vegas. At first, she thought it was because of his new position, but it was too frequent. She had a feeling something was wrong. She started looking into it and found evidence: text messages, everything. Her husband was so careless. Bethany was shocked. She felt like he was taking her for granted. Wait, I didn't know. I didn't know he was Bethany's husband. You had to know he was married. I didn't. Don't lie. You have to have known. I didn't. Bethany heard it from him. He told you he was married. What? Bethany asked us to help her get some concrete evidence because her husband was planning a business trip to Malibu. That's why she suggested this LA trip. She wanted to lure you out by involving other moms. So you planned this trip to set me up? Basically, you're so mean. Thanks for spilling all your plans. I'm so mad. After we arrived in LA, she went to her husband's hotel. Seriously? Apparently, her husband didn't expect her to show up. When he heard the doorbell, he asked Susan. What? Why would he say that? He must know I'm coming tomorrow, because he thought you were the only one who would visit him. After that, Bethany interrogated him. He told her everything about you. So if I managed to get to Malibu somehow, Bethany and her husband are already back in Phoenix, probably having a meeting at her house right now. <gasps> There's no point in going then. That's why it's good you didn't come. You're annoying. To begin with, dating a married man is a loss, no matter how you look at it. Why? He was so kind to me. He did everything for me. Yeah, but you'll pay more than you'll get in return. What? I've never paid for anything with him. Not yet, but you will. What? You're a single mother, which means he was dating a single person, so he doesn't owe alimony to the other side. But you knew he was married, so you owe Bethany alimony. What? That's ridiculous. It's only fair. But he said he'd divorce his wife and be with me. He said he'd pay everything, including alimony. Unfortunately, he doesn't plan to divorce her. What? Susan, why were you always trying to save money on transportation to see him? Because I wanted a free ride. He didn't pay. Normally, a man would pay for the woman to come see him, especially if he's a high-ranking executive at a big company. But he paid for the hotel and meals. Those were business expenses. What? Yeah, maybe he paid for the hotels and meals in places like Las Vegas and Santa Monica. For other places like San Francisco, however, it was a business trip, so the hotel was covered by the company. He even made the meals into business expenses, so he barely spent any money on you. How do you know that? He told me himself. What? Remember when I said Bethany interrogated her husband? He told her everything. He said he booked cheap flights to Las Vegas and Santa Monica and used his business hotel for you and other places. He even gave me a birthday present, a silver necklace. He used his airline miles for that. He earned those miles from all his business trips. And Bethany got a Fendi bag for her birthday, by the way. What? That's the difference. That's unfair. Of course it is. You were the one who approached him. What's wrong with that? He told me you were very aggressive when you first met. You basically forced him into a relationship. 
He's the head of a department at a listed company. He's perfect in every way. I couldn't let go of this opportunity. You followed your instincts as a woman. But it's a shame. What? Even if he divorced Bethany and got together with you, he would lose his job. Why would he lose his job? Because Bethany's father is the CEO. Remember I said they were probably having a meeting at her house? So is that it? That's it. So even if he leaves Bethany for me, I won't get anything good out of it? You might only get alimony. What? That jerk! He wasted my precious 30s. Later. After discussing the matter with her parents and husband, Bethany decided to get a divorce. It turned out that not only she, but also her parents couldn't forgive what had happened. Based on this, Bethany demanded compensation from Susan. And because of the intra-company affair, even if it was with a subsidiary, Susan was fired from her job. Susan is trying desperately to escape the situation, but Bethany has hired a lawyer and is determined to not let her get away. Susan tried to appeal to Bethany's ex-husband, her boyfriend, but there was no way he would pay any attention to her since he was just having fun with her. Moreover, with his family, job, and money all gone, Bethany's ex-husband couldn't possibly take care of Susan. In the end, Susan moved back in with her mother, who, as it turned out, was perfectly healthy, and she now works the night shift at a factory while paying monthly compensation to Bethany.